everyone so in this video we are going to discuss on uh, binding energy per nucleon versus mass number graph so we go uh, we have nine points that we have to remember so we go straight to number one so hydrogen one has zero binding energy hydrogen one is h1 so we don't see it in this graph what it, what we see here is hydrogen two which is the isotope for hydrogen so hydrogen 2 and then as we go up here we can see that this is what we call um, the light nuclei this is the area of light nuclei let me change it to green yeah highlight it to green you can see that this area is for the light nuclei change back to the pen all right so the value increases rapidly very very rapid up to the point we can see this is the maximum um, binding energy that we can find which is around 8.8 .8 mega electron volt per nucleon this belongs to ferrum 56 and as we can see in this light nuclear region which is in this green region we can see oxygen carbon 12 and helium 4 are much stable to compare it with its neighbors you can see that uh, oxygen uh, 16 is much much uh, stable than this part which um, we don't know so then we have also carbon 12 which is which is much um, much stable than um, nitrogen 14 helium 4 is much stable than uh, lithium 6 these are the three very stable um, elements to compare it with um, um, <laughs> neighbors. Okay. Next, we have um, beyond. Oh, we want to talk about this blue blue region. The blue region is what we call the region of very stable nuclides, area of maximum stability. Area of maximum stability so in this area it, uh, um, the mass number is around 50 to 80 okay then let's go further further oops sorry let's go further to um, this area who now this area is very big. It consists of very big nucleus, nucleides. Sorry. So beyond here, beyond the region of stability, um, the the binding energy, the E B over A. What happened to my screen recorder? Okay. So the binding energy per um nucleus per mass number per nucleon uh, gets decreases slowly mm -hmm. as the nuclei gets heavier okay so means that it what does it mean it means that they are less tightly bound they are less tightly bound so um, uh, there are a series of peaks that I've already answered here and then the heavy elements um, which are small have a smaller range of uh, binding energy per nucleon which is around 7 to 7.5 mega electron volt only and then this element they are this uh, yellow region element they are uh, unstable and radioactive why they are unstable and radioactive because since uh, they are less tightly bound means that they tend to break down break down and when the nucleus break down it actually undergoes um, fission reaction and during the fission reaction 
um, the nucleus will release radioactive. How am I supposed to draw the oh yes radioactive energy is released. That's why they are radioactive. Uh, if the yellow region here, the unstable big nucleus, uh, are unstable, so what happened? What kind of uh, reaction occur for the light nuclei? So for this one, this area, they tend to undergo fission reaction. Oh, sorry, fusion reaction. Since the nucleus are small, they tend to they tend to fuse. That's why they most probably will undergo fusion reaction. So I think that's the basic of um uh, binding energy per nucleon versus mass number graph. So if you have any other question that you would like to ask me, then you can just uh, comment at the comment section below. Alright, thank you.